Jackie Legiro and CalvinAir.com is back at the Rye for the second day of the iGaming Super Show 2013. We caught up with Tim Richards of GCA, a company that manages 70% of the transactions of casinos in America. Tim shared with us some of the challenges that payment processors will experience in a regulated online gambling market. As a company, we have 200 gaming licenses for our land-based business. So as each market goes forward, they're putting in, in place their interactive rules and whether or not we need to be re-licensed, have a different license, or have um, additional scrutiny, if you will. Um, in the state of Nevada, we have a, a class one license, which means we're scrutinized at the same level as a major manufacturer, like an IGT, or at the same level as a, a casino operator. So all of our key employees are licensed, um, our executives are licensed, our board, um, plus the background on, on the company. So it's, I, I think if it's, one thing to think about what's important is how you're expected to act in Nevada or how you're expected to, to act in any licensed jurisdiction is how you're expected to act anywhere in the world. We also learned about financial betting and binary options and why they are so appealing to the Chinese market. I talk a lot with the Chinese operators that have been in the gaming industry for many years and we talk a bit with Forex operators that have been in the financial industry for many years. Most of them say that the Chinese people, they like to bet. And whatever you give them, they would like to bet on. Since gaming is illegal over there and existing for many, many, many years and Forex is existing for many years and it's a bit overcomplicated, it's not really betting, it's more investing when you uh, talk about Forex, then you actually get to introduce a new product which haven't happened for the last, I think, five years. So I think it's a combination of a, a product they can understand and they can use and a new product that they can bet on, which they haven't had for a long time. We talked with keynote speaker Frank Ferenkopf and got his preliminary opinion on the recently drafted King Bill. Peter sent it over to me uh, right before I left to come to Europe and I, my lawyers are looking at it and we've sent it out to all our companies and I can assure you their lawyers are looking at it uh, and we have a board meeting coming up next month and I'm, I think we'll take a look at it uh, and make a decision whether we'll support it or whether we'll be neutral on it or whether we'll join and support it so it, it's kind of up in the air right now. That's it for the iGaming Super Show 2013. It's been a great time in Amsterdam and thanks for watching. This is Becky Legiro with CalvinAir.com.